Across Afghanistan, this was a day unlike most other days. The war-torn country was quiet, no roadside bombs, no airstrikes, no artillery barrages. The United Nations was observing International Peace Day, and with the cooperation of the Taliban, there was a lull in the fighting. CTV's Paul Workman reports. Afghanistan's long and dirty war took a short and symbolic break. It wasn't really a ceasefire, more like a day of restraint. Peace was in the air, if not on the ground. These children from Kandahar, invited to sing for the governor, have never really lived in peace. That's why the United Nations said this day offered special meaning for Afghanistan. It's Afghanistan's greatest need, and it is the United Nations' highest calling. NATO forces were ordered to halt all offensive actions for 24 hours. Canadian troops observed their own ceremony with the arrival of a new battle group as the Taliban threatened new and larger attacks to coincide with the Canadian election campaign. There's nothing with respect to Taliban propaganda that will force us to act in any different manner. Uh, every time we go up against the Taliban, we win, they lose, full stop. <laughs> Afghans can sing about peace and perform little plays, but they know it won't happen soon. The governor of Kandahar said he only hopes Canadian troops will be around to help his country for a very long time. Afghans have seen so much war over the last 30 years that even a single day of peace is a remarkable idea. But let there be no illusions. This is a struggle that doesn't go by the clock. And the Taliban say as long as there are foreign soldiers on the ground, the fighting will not stop. Paul Workman, CTV News, Kandahar.